we have a question here from Nancy Snyder, which says, how do I find the greatest common factor for 15 and 30? Ooh, I can answer that. All right, so if we're finding greatest common factor, then um, it, what was the numbers 15 and 15 and 30? So we wanted to find the greatest common factor of 15 and 30. Um, greatest common factor, a lot of times uh, people, people mix up greatest common factor and least common multiple. They are very similar, um, but the way that you remember them are just by the actual name of it. Greatest, meaning the largest. Common, meaning something that's the same between the two. And then factor is two number or a number that multiplies to equal another number. So if you cut to my screen, I will show you how to find the greatest common factor of two numbers. Greatest common factor, there we go. Okay, so we were finding the greatest common factors of 15 and 30. So in order to do that, we need to make sure that we have a list of all of our factors of each um, of both 15 and 30. I have a little um, kind of a graphic organizer I have my students um, make when they're just learning how to do factors and find factors because the hardest part of that is to make sure that you have found them all. So what I have them do, it's almost like a little t-chart for each. Um, start with 1 and itself. So 1 and 15 because 1 times 15 equals 15. Um, and then 2 doesn't work, doesn't go into 15. And then we have 3. 3 times 5 gives us 15. And then we know, well, 4 doesn't work. And so we're back to 5. And as soon as we've repeated, we know that we've got all the factors. So um, our list of factors for 15 were 1, 3, 5, and 15. And I like this, this uh, the chart and the t-chart to, to help find them just because it helps you make sure that you found all of the factors of 15. So we're going to do the same for 30 because we need to find out what the common factors are. So we need the factors of 30. So we have 1 and 30. 2, we know 2 goes into 30 because 30 is even. So 2 times 15. Um, 3 goes into 30. 3 times 10. 4 does not go into 30. Then we have 5, and 5 times 6 gives us 30. And we've gotten to the point where we are repeating factors. So now we know that we have them all. Um, so we're going to make a list of our factors of 30. So 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Now, like I said, I apologize for the, for the mess, but like I said, so greatest common factor is just that. It's the largest number that is the same on both lists. So. Um, I always start with my longest list or my largest number and I look, I start from the highest number and work my way down. So 30, no, it's not on my list for 15, so that's not my greatest common factor. And then I get to 15, oh great, 15, it's on both lists. So because it's the largest number that's on both lists, that is the greatest common factor of 15 and 30. So I hope that that helps a little bit um, explain and I hope that the t-chart uh, trick helps you a little bit with finding all of your factors.